Hello and welcome back to State of Charge. I'm standing here in front of a gorgeous Grabber Blue 2021 Mustang Mach-E. This is the dual motor version with the extended range battery pack. It has about 99 kilowatt hours stuffed into this puppy. Should be good for range, which we are testing out today. We're doing our 70 mile an hour highway range test on the Mach-E today. We're fully charged. We're gonna hop out onto the New Jersey Turnpike now. Driving loops up and down the Turnpike like we always do. I always use the same course for all the electric vehicles that we test. We're gonna see how far this guy goes today. I'm thinking it's gonna be good because the weather is nearly perfect. It's in the high 60s. It's gonna get up into the low 70s. So we're gonna average somewhere around 70 degrees while we drive 70 miles an hour. The stars are aligned. This should be a good day. Let's see how far we go. But first, don't forget, please, tap that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming content here on State of Charge. So we're out here on the New Jersey Turnpike cruising along at a steady 70 miles an hour in the Mach-E. Um, traffic's pretty good so far. It doesn't seem like we're having any issues maintaining that speed. Sometimes when there's a lot of traffic, it gets difficult to hold the constant 70 miles an hour. But today, so far, so good. Seems good. We're cruising along without any interruption. A uh, couple of things want to clear up as far as how we set the car up when we do these range tests. First of all, we set the tires to the rec recommended tire pressure that the manufacturer has for the vehicle. In the case of this Mach-E, it's 39 pounds per square inch. Set all the tires at that cold this morning. So we left and it was perfect. The tire pressure was fine. Uh, check the speedometer according to GPS just to make sure because many speedometers aren't really 100% accurate. Mach-E was dead on 70 miles an hour showed a constant 70 miles an hour to GPS so we have the uh, adaptive cruise control set at 70 miles an hour and we're cruising along here I checked our my wind app very little wind today um, as far as temperature it is 66 degrees now it was a little cooler when we started out this morning to charge up and get to 100% um, and at 100% the car was showing that it was could go 245 five miles. Uh, that's not as high as I've seen it um, yesterday, but uh, last night and even early this morning, uh, I, I drove it uh, quite spiritedly. And I think that I lowered the uh, the vehicle's uh, estimate on how far it can go per charge. Uh, but I did that this morning, quite honestly, to warm up the pack because it was 50 in the 50s uh, early in the morning. And before I fully charged it to 100%, I wanted to get the pack as hot as I could. So I drove it hard for a while, then plugged in, charged to 100%, hopped out on here on the New Jersey Turnpike to do this range test. Okay, what else? We have the temperature, the wind, um, tire pressure. I think that's pretty much it. Uh, we're gonna check in at 50% uh, of the way, see where we're at and uh, have a little conversation about what we expect the vehicle to do. Now, the this version of the Mach-E, I have the all-wheel drive extended pack uh, with the 98 kilowatt hour battery pack. Uh, of that 88 kilowatt hours is usable. It's EPA range rated, the combined EPA range rating is 270 miles per charge. It actually was 276, but Ford uh, purposely derated it uh, when they submitted their documents to the EPA. You're allowed to do that. You're allowed to actually underestimate your mileage. So the, the city and highway combined was 276, but you'll see 270 listed on the window sticker. Uh, but the highway range for this vehicle was 200. 49 miles uh, on the EPA test. So um, that's my goal. I'm hoping to get somewhere around 250, but uh, I'm not rooting for or against the car. It is where it is. We drive these 70 miles an hour and we see where we finish up at. Uh, check back in at 50% and see how far we've gone. Okay, so we're at the halfway mark, and this Mach-E is a range monster. We are killing it. 
we have driven 141 miles so far and the range estimator is showing 135 miles remaining that's 276 miles which is actually the exact range rating that Ford came up with according to the EPA range cycle. I said that earlier. Now they derated that and gave the vehicle an official range rating of 270 miles per charge, but their testing showed 276 miles of charge. So uh, listen, this is fantastic, much better than I thought. I was expecting somewhere around uh, 245, 250 miles. Now we haven't made it yet. And I've seen many times on the 70 mile an hour range tests that um, at the half mile mark, it seems like we're gonna go a certain distance, but then uh, the second half, you don't go quite as far as you do in the first half for a number of reasons. Um, but I tell you, the weather has been perfect. It's 72 degrees now. Uh, it's been in the high 60s, low 70s the whole time. Excellent range weather. There's zero wind, just cruising along down up and down the New Jersey Turnpike so it's really been perfect for range so I kind of should have expected a little bit more than what I was originally thinking but uh, geez if we get close to 270 that will be that'll really surprise me uh, I'll check back in either at the end or maybe give an update in between now and then depending on uh, when I have to turn around I have to calculate now exactly how far I need to drive to turn around and come back, turn around again so I can time it as I'm arriving right at the Electrify America charging station. So that's one of the difficult things of these range tests is uh, I like to get the battery down to zero or as close as possible to zero. I like to finish up right at an Electrify America DC fast charger. And going up and down the, the turnpike like this, I had in my mind that we should go about 250 miles, so I kind of plotted a trip. But now it looks like we're going to go further, so I can't show up with 20 miles of range remaining. Uh, so I might have to drive a little bit further, make a U-turn, go back. Anyway, I have to calculate it so I don't end up coming up short and uh, you know have to call triple A for a tow. So depending on how I figured that out, maybe I'll check in when I'm like three quarters of the way. If not. I'll see you back at the end when we're just about to plug in and uh, check out the DC fast charge rate once this 70 mile an hour highway range test is complete. So we're at the 25% mark. We have driven 212 miles. The range estimator says we can go another 68, 280 miles. Can we make that? That would be amazing. Uh, way more than I expected when we set out today. Uh, but like I said before, the weather's been perfect. Um, we're now up to 74 degrees. Haven't needed to use any HVAC at all today. Um, so the car hasn't needed to use any energy for heating or cooling, which is fantastic. As a matter of fact, it's showing that 99% of the energy used today was for the route, and only 1% was used for accessories, I guess the radio. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're squeezing out as much as we can. Now, I'm not, I'm still a little hesitant to say that we're gonna hit 280 because um, I've heard from other Half people. Keep left at the fork to stay on New Jersey Turnpike. Follow signs for New Jersey Turnpike. Per particularly, my friend Kyle Connor from Out of Spec Motoring, he said when he got towards the end of the pack, the range cut much quicker than it should have. So, <laughs> so I'm a little bit worried because the the Electrify America charging station that I have set on our route is only gives me a couple of miles of leeway. So. Hopefully this range estimator is a little more accurate than it was when Kyle drove his Mach-E because I'm getting a little nervous about running out, but uh, that happens frequently when we do these range tests. I always calculate it out and then 
the, the rain starts chopping off a little bit quicker than I had hoped at the end and I'm white knuckled on the steering wheel, but I've always made it. So I think the Mach-E won't let me down. I think we're gonna make it in the Mach-E also and we're gonna finish up close to 280 miles. Um, that's fantastic for the, uh, the dual motor, all wheel drive, uh, extended battery pack Mach-E. Uh, we'll check back in when we're at the Electrify America charging station. So we made it. We are rolling into the Electrify America charging station and we went 282.5 miles. Crazy. Um, super impressed with this Mach-E. Um, we're at 0% state of charge but it's still saying that we could go three more miles. It turned on to a 0% state of charge about a half a mile ago. And uh, it, at that time it said we can go four more miles. Now it just ticked down to three. So if you wanna add that in, 282.5 plus three miles is 285.5 miles. Uh, or if you don't believe we should add that, the remaining estimated range in, then stick with the 282.5 either way. Uh, this was really, really a great showing by the Mustang Mach-E. Over 280 miles at a constant 70 miles an hour. Now, we always see a constant 70 miles an hour, but on occasion, we dip a little bit below that, and then we go a little bit above it. I'm just talking a mile an hour or two if there's traffic. Sometimes I'll drop down to 67, 68 miles an hour. Then I go up to 71, 72 for like a mile just to make up for it. It's not possible to really just lock it in at 70 and drive for 300 miles without uh, lowering. And plus, we also make, uh, I also have to get off the turnpike and turn around and come back up because we do loops to negate any elevation changes um, or if there was wind uh, going in any one direction. So, you know, we say constant 70 miles an hour, at least 98% of the drive is at 70 miles an hour. There's always that one or 2% where we're either going a little bit slower, a little bit quicker, or we get off and we're making the U-turn to get back out onto the turnpike. So I just want to clarify that, but um, fantastic showing for the Mach-E. Because the weather was so good, I didn't have to turn on the climate control at all. And it's showing here now that 98% of the battery was used for propulsion and 2% was used for accessories. So I guess that was for the radio and, and, and whatever else, the lights in the, in the, um, the, the display screens. Uh, but uh, super showing, uh, we're gonna do some DC fast charge testing now, but uh, that's another video. So keep an eye out for that here on State of Charge. Thanks for watching.